Okay, uh, we're back at it again, and uh, from all aspects of it, it looks that um, this will work. Um, I've cycled it four times. Uh, basically, um, uh, I put it all together and uh, ran it with temporary connections and with the battery, and it charged. It cycled up. I let it run down and back up again. I also I monitored the cells with a uh, uh, with a uh, monitoring device, and um, it shuts off automatically um, from the unit itself. So it looks like it works. Here's the battery that I uh, purchased, and this one is really designed for uh, transmitters and receivers. Uh, so. You know, it's it's the right battery uh, as far as uh, what we needed power-wise. Um, it does come with these two connections. These are the two power connections that it comes with, and that's where I cut them. Is right here. You can see I just put the wires together, just soldered them together, and uh, just wanted to show you how I did that. And I kept. Uh, the balancing plug on it and I've had this charged four times and discharged maybe about 50 percent um, the rate of discharge when it's running runs anywhere from about 375 milliamps to about 450 milliamps is the averages that I got uh, out of uh, consumption of the battery um, you can also let me see if I got that on her. Oops, this way. Okay, um, there's cell one, cell two. Okay, cell one is at uh, 4.2 and 4.4. Um, and that's after leaving it run almost an hour. So it doesn't use up a lot of current out of the, uh, um, out of the uh, cell itself. And it stays pretty well balanced. Uh, while I was charging uh, with the, uh, the charging port, with this connected into here, um, it, was, it shuts off automatically when it reached its full charge. And uh, this is the first time that I've had all of the lights lit up. One of the problems I've had uh, with this uh, remote since I got it, it never would fully charge so I think there was a problem with that board uh, from the beginning so uh, with that uh, with that being said uh, I'm sure I'm going to get a lot more range uh, than I did before okay with the battery going in I'm going to it'll fit right in here oops got to go down this way and I just made those little foam inserts up, but you get the idea. This will fit this way like this, and then this will go over and close. So there's no problem there. Everything's going to work. Um, you can see with the old battery, there's a difference in size. Same width, same size this way, the only difference is just a little bit larger okay so there you have it um, it appears that it's going to work fine um, like I say I've cycled it four times so uh, everything uh, appears to be okay um, I charged it with the charging port it um, I, I drained the battery down about uh, 75 percent and then I let it charge fully the lights went up in sequence. Um, that'll be the the lights from the front panel went up in sequence. It plays just the way it's supposed to. So I think it's going to work fine. So okay, good luck. Hope it works for you. I don't know what the longevity is going to be, uh, but as we all know, with lipo batteries, uh, if they're off balance, um, it's not good. But it's normally it's from uh, fast discharge rates. This does not have a fast discharge rate. This discharge rate is um, a lot less than it would be if it was running um, the uh, aircraft itself. So 
I think it's going to work fine. I'm going to put it back together and uh, give it a shot. Okay, good luck. Hope it works for you.